I'm Sarah, physical therapist at Spooner Scottsdale, just down the street from Ironwood. I have the privilege of working with lots of Ironwood patients and assisting them on their breast cancer journey. It's very near and dear to my heart, so I have some important things to share with you guys that can further assist during and after treatment. Cancer patients can be referred to physical therapy for a lot of reasons, but today I'm gonna to specifically talk about how it relates to breast cancer. On your first visit, you can expect to spend time with the physical therapist in a private space, take an extensive history, since we know you've been through a lot of different things from surgery to treatments to radiation, and correlate that with the things you like to do, the things you wanna get back to doing, and the things you're currently maybe having trouble with. Then we'll look at a full orthopedic screen from shoulder range of motion, posture, how you walk, and your strength, looking at any lymphedema issues you might have, scar tissue, anything that's healing from the treatments that you've had. At Spooner, all of our therapists working with breast cancer patients are specialty trained with advanced knowledge in all of the surgeries, medications, treatments you've had, and lymphedema as well. And there, it's also really important so that they can have a close relationship with the physicians and your care team so that everyone's on the same page and can speak the same language. It helps you get back to doing all the things you want to do so that you don't have to live with some of the side effects that can happen with treatment. A typical plan of care can last anywhere from four to six weeks and sometimes longer just depending on what you need. You can expect at your visit that you'll spend some time in the private space working on some manual hands-on techniques, whether it's stretching scar tissue, working on lymphedema, and then also in the gym space where you will do a full and comprehensive exercise routine that's catered to what you need to help you achieve your goals and also so that you have a comprehensive home program. There's a lot of things you might experience during and after treatment for breast cancer. It might be as simple as decreased range of motion after surgery, or maybe your shoulder's a little sore, or you're having some breast pain, but you can also get more impactful things like axillary cording, which can feel like a string through your armpit into your arm and can be painful and decrease your range of motion. You may also experience lymphedema, which is the result of some of the lymph nodes being removed from your axilla or your armpit on the affected side. Sometimes it is visible swelling and sometimes it's more subtle as aching or heaviness that you may experience intermittently. All of these things are things that can be addressed with physical therapy and you just don't have to live with the way they affect your life. Typically you can start physical therapy about three weeks after your surgery or when any drains come out, but every doctor has their own preference so check with yours before scheduling your appointment. Whether you're having significant pain or difficulties with your shoulder or chest or lymphedema or maybe you're just not sure how to get back to being active or your normal life and feeling more like yourself, speak with your care team about these concerns. Physical therapy might be appropriate for you.